How's it going guys, it's AJB and welcome back to the NHL and Hut, the Calgary Flames with a collection guide. So here is your Calgary Flames team. I have Camilleri on the left wing because he's free pack and I decided to alter him um, with a center of the left wing that was also free pack. We got Ramo team of the week in net, forgive me, I don't want to use a 60 something overall goaltender. And he's been playing well this season so we're going to give it to Kerry Ramo. Um, I'm going to use some star of the week cards in these if I feel like they're playing higher than their rating in NHL is. And... You can see that this team is not very good. It's almost as bad as the Sabres, but yeah, we do a lot better with this team. So I got a, co a few comments. Um, I'll get to some comments later, but one comment was to talk about the actual NHL team in this from um, Sully on Tap. He commented that, who I really respect his opinion, and I think we should try that out for an episode. So the Calgary Flames right now are not doing the best. Um, they are 26th in the league in terms of points. Their leading scorer is Yuri Hoodler. And um, Mark Giordano are their two top scorers. Sean Monahan has the most goals. And it's crazy because this team, it's been a while since this team has really seen contention in the playoffs. Iginla's gone. And there's really not too much to, what do you call it? There's not too much to um, see in Calgary except the young guys like Sean Monahan. Um, there's some good goaltenders. Rado Barra also, also got traded, who I thought was actually a decent goaltender. He wasn't having the best of years, but I think he's a decent goaltender. Um, as you see, um, we are having some pretty good um, success here in this game with Yuri Hoodler getting a nice little speed goal right there. Um, those are pretty good. You don't get too many guys like that. Um, in Buffalo, there's no fast players at all, so this, this was a welcoming. This team is very fast. Um, they have a very offense oriented, um, yeah, that goal, I really don't know what happened there, but this is a very offense oriented team. They don't have any shutdown defensemen really, and I think that goes for real life too. Giordano is more of a goal point putter, he's more like a Eric Carlson than a, um, Shea Weber, so to say. So, the Flames aren't having the best year, but they do have a great future with guys like Sean Monahan, um, guys like, uh, shoot, who, who are they young guys? But Sean Monahan stands out as a complete player. He just looks like an excellent forward, and just for the future, he looks great. Sven Barchi, I have a feeling he's going to be prominent in a few years as a good um, depth goal scorer. Probably not first line material, but definitely second line material. As well as um, guys, I'm sorry, I'm pulling a blank here. Um, who is it? I'm so sorry. I don't know. For all you Flames fans, um, you can tell me what you think of the situation. Um, Max Reinhardt looks to be a good depth player as well. Um, you got a few tough guys on there with Kevin Westgarth and, um, what do you call it? Big Bad Ryan McGratton. But this team is very offense oriented. They have a lot of guys who are good at skating, which is, again, great for hot, not much else. <laughs> In real life, that doesn't win you games. But this guy does quit after we kind of blow him out 4-1. to one. So, it's just Calgary seems like a very future-oriented team, obviously, just like the Sabres, so we're kind of in the same boat there. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, they had a decent start to the year, I believe, the Flames. They had a few wins there, starting to prove a people, few people wrong. But Mikael Backlund, that's the guy who I was thinking of earlier. He's going to be a good, um, he's going to be good in a few years. But this team seemed to be okay in Ultimate Team, actually. It's not terrible, but I'm not saying it's good either. So, we're going to move on to a different game here. And this one was a lot more intense. This guy watched every replay and all that stuff, yada, yada, yada. I'm just not going to show every replay because that would be really boring, as it was in real in the game. But we start off strong with a Camilleri goal. And I wonder why he didn't get dealt at the trade deadline because not having the best of years, he's a minus 25 as of today, which is pretty bad. And that goal right there was also pretty bad. <laughs> Don't really know what the story was behind that one, but worked in my favor, so I guess I can't complain. Um, let's just take a look at this again. He, that's, that's pretty weird. But yeah, this I watched every replay, whatever. So, the Flames have been, um, definitely on the decline. I have a feeling they're somehow gonna beat Buffalo in the lottery, because, I don't know. I don't, I don't think Buffalo's gonna get an amazing pick. But, they're, I bet they're really missing, um, Jerome Ginla guys like Alex Tangay, Jay Bomeister. They had some nice pieces before, but it just never seemed to come together. Iggy, back in the glory days for Calgary, he was a point-of-game player, I'm sure, and it's just becoming really frustrating for the Flames fans, I can imagine. 
if if like Buffalo had to go through like as long as a period of like playoff drought, like it it just must have been tough. I don't know. I just it would be really depressing because they haven't made the playoffs in a few years. Um, again, the goals keep coming, all that stuff. Um, doesn't look like I'm holding on to this lead, and you're about to see I really don't. But absolutely, the Flames are a team of the future, just like the Sabres. I'm comparing them to the Sabres, except these guys have some goal-scoring talent and some upfront forwards who are going to be good in the future where the Sabres are mainly defensive-oriented right now. So I don't know why I'm bringing the Sabres so much into this. I did them last time. I should have left it for last time. But again, this guy is going to really um, just take off with these players. Somehow he gets past everyone, and it's 4-2, and he's going to watch every replay, <laughs> whatever. So, he has four goals on 13 shots. Um, Barra is not playing like a start of the week goaltender, so that's not good. <laughs> that's really not good. He's been taking penalties, so um, I've been trying to capitalize, but it, it hasn't been happening. It really hasn't. But Backlund, however, is going to put a speck of hope as Backlund to Hoodler. To Hoodler, the backhand, and that's a good goal. And it is 3-4 to four right now. And there's a glimmer of hope. Um, one goal game... Third period has just begun, so things are looking up. Until, of course, that happened. And things were starting to look down a little bit more. <laughs> so that isn't how we wanted it to happen. But you have to still be hopeful because good things can happen. With just a few minutes left, we make it another one goal game as Martin Jones gets there, who's actually a decent player. He reminds me of, um, what do you call it? He just reminds me of a normal. Just average at everything, but good in general player. So we get tripped up here on a breakaway, and I was a little upset that that wasn't a penalty shot because it was right there. Minute left, and I honestly was so nervous because if I win this face off, I have a huge chance of scoring. So I call my timeout, and we win the draw. No, we don't. I'm just kidding with you. But <laughs> here comes Yuri Hoodler. Hoodler's in. Hoodler. Wambo, Bambo, Jambo, and we get the goal. Somehow we tie this thing up. We are going to watch this shiz because it is amazing. I was just overjoyed at the time. It was such a good feeling. And he paused it on me. What a do jerk. <laughs> I don't want to say, I don't want to get too angry at this guy. He was playing a bit of a frustrating game watching all of his replays, but I just had to watch this. So I'll cut over. I'm not going to show you guys the entire like 15 seconds of me watching it. I was just kind of putting a message out there. I wouldn't say that was a pretty goal, but you got to take it, I guess. So in overtime, it's winding down. He grabs the puck, and I'm like, oh, no, what's going to happen here? But this guy would just come into the slot every time. It's so predictable. But I would put on the brakes here because I'm unpredictable. Ooh, look at me. But I'm going to dabble around with it. Jackman just misses it. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Jackman, of all people, he's grinding with it. Jackman's grinding with it. He grabs it back. Cross crease. And we take it. We actually came back in this game, which is pretty amazing. And that would be the end of it. We actually won two games for this team, which is absolutely ridiculous, honestly. No idea how we decided to win. But somehow we had the willpower, and we did, in fact, win the game. So that was actually quite surprising. <laughs> Don't really know what to think of that. But we got to take the win. We got to take the win. So one of the comments um, was that I was kind of being a hypocrite by saying, like, all they do is slot shot, all they do is cross crease. And I have to say I am guilty of that too. I'm not saying I'm a pretty little person who only scores the nice little snipes from the slot. I mean, if I see someone going for slot shots, I'm just going to do it too. And then I get angry when they do it, and that's just human nature, I guess. Like, when you do it and you're feeling good, it's okay, but when they're doing it, then it's bad. So, that's my bad. I should really learn to realize that I'm doing it too. I shouldn't get too mad. But, I have to say, Yuri Hoodler was actually quite good for me. I did like Yuri Hoodler a lot. Um, Ramo was a decent goaltender. Giordano was alright. But Mike Camilleri, guys, is actually really good. In real life, he's not really good. But I would definitely recommend Mike Camilleri as a depth forward. He's fast as, like, he's like the Flash. He's amazingly fast, and he has decent hands, so that's good. So for Calgary, you're going to need this jersey. It doesn't have an NHL patch on it, so be weary of that. Um, you're going to have the A that's flaming, the Alberta Flames, right there. you got the Calgary that does have a patch. Notice those two are different. Um, the non-rare homes, one is a patch, one doesn't. 
make sure you know which one you have. <laughs> and the aways are pretty much just going to match up that. We have the Alberta Flames right there. Um, we have the regular Calgary right there. And we have the other regular Calgary right there. So here are the players. Kevin Soft, who's technically retired. I don't know why he's in the game. Berchi, Backlund, Glencross, Hoodler, um, Weidman and Horak, Giordano, Camilleri, Lee Stepniak, um, Kurt Russell, is it? I think. Uh, Matt Stajan, TJ Brody, Chris Butler. TJ Brody, by the way, is actually a really decent defender, I must say. Um, David Jones, we got Galliardi, um, O'Brien, Jackman, Smitty, Wes, ah, McGratton. McGratton, Jones, Reinhardt, and Ramo. McGratton is actually like 15k, surprisingly. So this collection will take you about 22k to buy. You know, I'd say about 22, 23k, 22 to 25k. McGratton actually sells for something, because I guess if he didn't sell for something, the collection would be like 10k to make. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you found this helpful. If you like the, the non-live comms and you like me talking about the flames in real life, please leave a like and a comment. Because if I don't know you, if I don't know it and you don't like this, I'm just going to keep doing it. And if I know you like it, I'll be sure to keep doing it. So, thanks for watching. If you found this informative, support this video. That'd be sick. And I'll talk to all of you later. Have a wonderful day. And get ready because some better teams are right around the corner.